Welcome back fuckers. Alrighty, so today we're going to run through how to set up a JTAC using the mission editor only, not the uh, CTLD scripting. So this is just mission editor only, JTAC, so you got to check in with the radio and all the rest of it. So we're going to quickly run through how to do that now. So what you're going to do, we're going to select the ground units. So you can only do this with ground units with the mission editor. Okay, so keep that in mind and we're going to make sure we go to blue 4, which is what we want. Name is going to be the same, so we're going to call it JTAC. Copy that and paste it the same. So you always want to make sure you keep name and unit name the same just to make it easier for later on when you're using scripting and all the rest. So we're going to use the uh, ATGM M1045 Hummer with a tow missile. So it's got a laser on it. So we're going to make sure you use tow. Then make sure you use the tow. Use the tow. All right, it's got a laser on it if you want it to laser targets. All right, otherwise it will just mark stuff with smoke or it won't even mark it at all. Skill doesn't matter because all we want it to do is just laser targets. So we're gonna put him there. All right, so now we've got to do a few more things. But first of all, we're gonna give him some targets for him to laser. So we're gonna change this over to Russia. Let's do this around, copy it, paste it. And let's just put a shit ton of these guys down. So to add units, remember just click. There we go. We'll just drag these guys around. Edit. Move these fuckers around here. All right. So he's got some targets here for the JTAC to laser for us. All right. Cool. So we got our ground targets there, ready to rumble, and we got our JTAC. Okay. So now. We have to set up our JTAC and there's a couple of things we need to do uh, Just depending on how realistic you want to make this so we're gonna go through setting the JTAC up So he's gonna be able to talk to us. So at the moment. It's just a uh, a Two Hummer, all right Looks like that. That's what it is. That's our unit right now. Okay, so he's not gonna be doing any JTAC stuff So we need to make him do that. So what you're gonna do is come down to your Make sure you've got him selected. You're going to go to your advanced waypoint actions, click on that, and we're going to go add. Okay, and then perform task. We want to assign FAC assign group. Okay, so forward air controller assign group. Booyah. All right, and it's going to give us all these things. So now group, this is where naming your uh, your units comes into play. So we're going to select that. And remember, we called our ground units, we called them ground. Okay, if we had another unit, another bunch of units called ground two, okay, you can just add, add all these in one after the other okay so once you've done that weapons so this is uh, the JTAC if you leave it on auto he's gonna decide what weapons to employ that you're carrying so you'll check in you'll tell him what weapons you've got on your aircraft and then the JTAC will make the decision or if you want the JTAC to say nope we're only gonna go guided weapons only uh, you can you know you can select whatever you want we're just gonna leave it on auto designation so this is do you want him to laser target or not or do you just want him to give you the coordinates for it so again it's a realism here uh, if you leave it on auto, he'll decide on what he uh, wants to do. All right, so he might mark it with Willy Pete, which is white phosphorus, so it'd be white smoke. He might IR pointer, so you're just using infrared laser pointer that you can't actually uh, use for bombing, but you can see with your night vision goggles at night time. Uh, you can use laser, which we can employ our weapons, and then you can have it marked with white smoke and the laser. So you can choose what you want to do. So we're going to go laser because we're going to be doing uh, do some GPUs on him. All right, call sign, you can choose whatever call sign you want out of any of these, pretty cool ones, which can leave an ax man. And his uh, frequency, what's so 133 is default. It's all good, that's all we need to do there. Uh, if there was another group, okay, all you do is you can either go clone, and then instead of ground, okay, if there was another one called air, like whatever ground, tr ground units you've made, groups, you just select them all, okay? So you just add them, and it'll go in priority. So just say we had, uh fuck it let's do it let's do it let's put another unit in here uh, we'll call this guy the play the play and we're gonna go air defense and put a few of these guys down okay edit just move them so for us as uh the aircraft there's no point the JTAC lasing these BTRs when there's a threat to us. So we want him to prioritize the uh, AAA. We want him to laser AAA for us first because we want to take out the threat 
that's most dangerous to us. Okay, so now we can do the same thing. So we go add, uh, form task, fac, assign group. Group is gonna be AAA and we do the same thing. So we're gonna go laser, yep, 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 done, done, done. All right, so now it's got uh, number two and number three. So we want this guy, AAA, we want him to choose that as a priority. So we're just gonna move that up. So make sure your, your uh, group that is more of a threat or the group that you want the JTAC to lays first is the uh, first on the list. All right, and then once all the AAA is done, it'll move on to the next group. Okay, and he'll just laze his way through. Cool, so that is that done and done. All right, but if we spawn in right now, this JTAC, okay, he is, he's got a tow missile and he's in range of all these guys. So as soon as we start this mission, this guy's gonna start shooting at these guys and these guys are gonna shoot at this guy and that JTAC's gonna die, all right? So a couple of things you need to remember. The laser range for the JTAC is five nautical mile. So you make sure you use your mirror Ah, sorry, your your, uh, your ruler, and make sure you're within five nautical mile. Okay. You also want to make sure that your JTAC has got line of sight. All right. So if we go to map, ooh, ew. So let's uh, put him up on a hill somewhere. So we're just gonna grab our guy, drag him. Hard to see the hills here. Looks like a hill, hillish there. All right, we'll just double check that we are within range, five nautical mile. Ooh, we're a bit out, so he's not gonna be able to laser all those targets with the laser, because five mile is the range. So we will quickly just move him in a touch, touch more. Are there any other hills around? So you wanna have him, wanna make it so he's got line of sight. All right, because if there's a mountain block in the way, he's not gonna see through it. So it doesn't look like it at the moment, we'll just put him down here, all right? But he needs a line of sight of the units, otherwise he can't laser. Because he can't see him. But still, this guy's in the threat rings and he will engage these targets because it's got a tow missile. So we need to tell him a couple of things. All right, we're gonna do a couple more things. So in your advanced waypoints, we're gonna go add again. All right, and we're gonna make, uh, what is it, set option, and we're gonna go ROV, rules of engagement. So at the moment, set to weapons free. So when he spawns in, like I said, he's gonna start shooting his tow missiles at all those targets there, because he's like, well, there's an enemy there, I'm gonna shoot him. So we're gonna tell him to not fire. Okay, he's not gonna shoot, weapons hold. And we're gonna move that up to the top, right above everything else, because we want that to happen straight away. We don't want him to start shooting before he's uh, done his job. So that's that one, and then we're gonna add another one, and we're gonna call this is in perform command, I'm pretty sure, there it is. So we're gonna make him invisible. All right, so what that command there, invisible does, it makes this guy, we can still see him, but the enemy red four cannot see this guy. He's technically invisible. So he's not gonna shoot at him and they can't see him. So our JTAC is safe, essentially. All right, so that is that. We'll move that up to there as well. And then if you wanted to, yeah, you could add one more in and you could make it immortal as well so that if you or one of the friendlies dropped a bomb on him by accident he wouldn't die okay he'd stay up so it depends on how realistic you want to make this thing okay so you can make it immortal as well but that's all you got to do okay so roe weapons hold so he won't fire switch him to invisible if you don't want uh, the ground units to engage him if he's within range all right, and then make him immortal as well in case a friendly blows him up. And that's it. Okay, so we've set him up. He is on radio frequency. Go to here, you can see 133. So if we come over to our friendly little Hornet here, we've set our Hornet. It's got uh, frequency ready to go, 133. We've got a weapon loadout of laser, laser guided bombs and JDAMs. All right, and we're gonna quickly spawn into the mission. Nope, and press start. All right, so we're going to active pause. So now we know that the JTAC is tuned in. So we are on frequency 133. Here we go, F4 JTAC, Axeman 11. So I'm not gonna go through all this, what it is. We'll do another video on how to actually use the JTAC. Yankee, Delta, 7, 1, 2, 2, 6, All right, so we're checking in, telling him what we've got on board. Just making sure we confirm that it works. All right, I'm, ready for not. I'm ready to just copy. gonna go through. 
fast forward all this. So we can tell he's working because we said laser. He said there's our laser code. Just fast forward all this stuff. So I'll make a video, I promise, on how to actually use the, the JTAG properly. So we're just going to make sure it's all good to go that he's actually going to lay us just to show that it does work. IP inbound and bam. Just fast forward. Alright, and then we get to here. So we've got laser on, so we can tell him when we're uh, when we've got the area roughly in our targeting pod, we can slew our targeting pod down here, tell him to put the laser on and then press laser search track on the Hornet or your uh, lantern pod, whatever you're using that's got a targeting pod that you can use the laser. All right, to find it, or you can just tell him to put laser on and just CCIP a bomb in the general area and it will track the laser, okay? But that's it. He is set up. Set up. And if we go down to this view, seven, there's our little guy. You can see he is not shooting at the ground units, which are definitely in range of shooting at him. Right, so there's our ground units. They are not shooting at him because he is invisible to them. So that guy would definitely be uh, launching some tow missiles for sure. But he's not. He is not. So that is it. Set up JTAC for your missions. All right. Hope that helped, boys. Catches on the next one.